activities are a great adjunct to our, our medical perspective that we have here at Gianna. And I have found that they are just the perfect vehicles for self-expression and community building for our residents with dementia here at Gianna Homes. It's become a crucial part of what we do here to treat mind, body, and spirit. We get to see them through the arts. Tell me about these flowers. They're just flowers. Did you grow flowers? No, my mother did. Oh, your mother did. Green would mean sadness. Yellow would mean like grief because I sometimes I would go to the nursing home and sometimes they wouldn't see me very well like they wouldn't call my name they wouldn't know that I was their grandchild I like your mask I like what you painted yeah what does it make you think of I don't know there's a lot happening there yeah well thanks Darlene <laughs> you did a great job a lot of creativity obviously in the brain and so that's why I put glitter on one side and then I did the purplish black um, piece over the mouth because I mean with Alzheimer's patients and with any kind of brain injury um, it's hard to verbalize. I started with the black backdrop because uh, for me it signified um, where we were with uh, brain injuries and diseases like Alzheimer's. We were in the dark, we didn't know, and I don't think um, we fully understood them. My grandmother had Alzheimer's disease, and that's, when she had it, that's kind of the way I felt. I didn't understand it, and it was a very uh, scary thing for our, our entire family, but um, our faith, love, and family um, all got us through it. I tried to have a hidden scar to represent how people don't really see it on the outside, how, how it affects people. This is my mask, and um, the reason why I painted the mask this way is I basically um, saw it as the struggle inside of all the different poles, um, and not and knowing that they're fading away and they don't want to fade away, at this and trying to stay centered. So I tried to draw a line up and down the face, and at the same time that there's so much um, frustration going on within the brain, they remained um, beautiful through all the changes. I like the big red lips. That's what I am, I guess. Mm -hmm. You gotta be what you are. I put red on there for the frustration, the anger, and then it changed to orange to kind of flush it away. I got hearts in there for all the people that have supported me throughout many trips to the hospital and wondering if I would ever be able to be functional at times. And all these masks share a story, and you guys see that and, and kind of experience it. But you know, brain injuries, Alzheimer's, dementia, all of it, uh, I think it affects everyone. Everybody knows it affects somebody at some point. So just to be able to talk about it and bring some awareness to it is, is a great thing. With more attention, we can possibly make a difference, and that's kind of what we're doing today. So.